We are here with my boy Schizo. What's up? And Focus. What's up? All right. How you doing today, man? Man, I'm solid, brother. Right on. Solid mm -hmm. as a rock, man. We're here to talk about you. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about who you are. Well, my name is Schizo, your local neighborhood hustler. Right. That's what's up. And that's right, your local neighborhood hustler. Kind of like Spider-Man, but not really. You, know, like you, ain't got, you got the spidey yeah. sense, right? You know, yeah. <laughs> Tingling. Why don't you give us a little history about yourself, uh, where your roots are, where you come from? I'm a Southern Cali baby. I'm saying I was born in Los Angeles, raised up in the San Bernardino area. I moved up here to the Northwest, fell in love, been here for a long time. Now, this is home. You know, this is where it's at. You know, but uh, I grew up on the mean streets, you know. Dealt with a lot of things, seen a lot of situations. You know, that's kind of impacted my life. Is that what brought you into the music industry? Do you think that that's what your what your basis for writing your songs and your music is? That is that what what inspires you? To well, the thing about my music is, is I've been writing music for many, many, many years. I mean, I remember in in school actually giving presentations mm -hmm. in a form of a rap. Right. You know, I mean, Took away uh, I did a report on Alexander the Great, <laughs> okay, and I wrote a rap about Alexander the Great. Oh, do we have know, that clip? So. I'd love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that think that be was dope. before they had actually uh, camera phones and right. stuff like that. So, uh, Dang it. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, Inspirational-wise, um, music is from my heart. You know, uh, it deals with the situations I have seen, situations I've grown up with, situations... Uh, other people have uh, seen and it's impacted me, mm -hmm. you know. Um, really, it's more about just life, you know. I know it's kind of a, I know everybody's is quote unquote music is about life, but you know, I, I deal with a little bit more family issues. Mm -hmm. uh, like to have fun, you know. Um, music is based around um, what do you call that? More of a family aspect. I have uh, sure. music for adults, music for children, yeah. um, but it's all. It kind of correlates to things of a family. Very versatile. How about this? Schizo, who is he? That's your that's your latest album. <laughs> yes. Yep. Schizo, who are you? You know what? I'm still trying to find out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> how, about the, how about you, Focus? Do, do you know who Schizo is? Because that's, that's his album title. So let's talk. Man, we've easy. been working together, and I'm still trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see this cat, it's a different person. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? That's the thing. The thing is, is everybody in life, um, when they're in a certain situation, they act different ways. Yeah. You know, and that's actually how the album is based. The thing is, is I have uh, songs that talk about my hair. Um, I have songs where things are going wrong throughout your day. You know, um, I have songs about my faith. I have songs about running the streets, you know, but it's just a, it's a, it's the aspects of my life, and I'm sure everybody has aspects of their life that vary, and that's mm -hmm. the kind of way it is. It just kind of explains a little bit, just a glimpse into who I actually am and the things I believe in. Mm -hmm. You had a song, something to do with the Seahawks. You want to you wanna tell us what that was? <laughs> I mean, I think it, it's kind of catchy. I'm not sure if they've heard of it before, but let's let them know what that is. All right, well, first off, I've been writing Seahawks songs for like, 10 years okay, okay so i'm not just something new to this I'm, i haven't it's not like something i'm jumping on the bandwagon with but uh the latest one actually there's a couple different ones but the the one that really took off is um the boot boogie babes actually created a line dance too and it's called the official 12th man line dance um so if you want something fun to do check it out it's called get your hawk on you know, it's definitely family friendly. You know, you throw it on at any party, any pre-funk party, any tailgate party. Uh, that's always a good one. You know, my latest one is actually called I Am A Fan. Um, and I have Vicky Martinez's band come in. Uh, the guitarist from Blood Good um, has more of a blues country feel to it. Um, it's, it's a, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with the, the Seahawks. It's just a it's just something I like to express. Like I said, I've been writing songs, and the topics are always something that's emotionally inside. And during football season, <laughs> well, it's all about yes, the emotion. Right. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> one one thing I'd like to touch on real quick that, that he briefly touched on that particular song being family friendly. Um, I, I don't know if he likes this term, but all of his music is family friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no profanity. You you can literally turn on the album and start from track one all the way till the end of the album 
and it doesn't matter who's listening to it. Right. You'd be comfortable listen, listening to it with your kids in the car. Mm-hmm. You know what? Um, thank you, Focus. I mm-hmm. do appreciate that because that is something i like to touch on. Just real quick, just briefly. Um, I do have a wife. I have five kids. I mean, and the thing is, is there's no way I'm going to sit here and make music that I can't play for my kids. Right. Yeah. You know? And, you know, I listen to all the things. And I love artists. I love artists nowadays. I love artists back in the past. You know? But the thing is, is you have to capture other moments. Yeah. So To me, that, music is a snapshot of a moment captured through sound. Yeah. And that in itself, just the, the family-friendly music um, from start to finish, kind of sets him apart from... A large majority of most of the hip hop artists that are out right now. <laughs> good, and that brings up a good point, Eric. It music then and now. What do you guys, being the fact that your music is from family oriented, what's your opinion on the way music has has? I always like to ask this of every guy, everybody that we interview. What is your opinion on how music was, and how it is now, in a general, general statement? You know. What's pushed on us through the media is one thing. Um, and the reason I say that is because what's pushed on us through the media is, is a lot of sex, drugs, quote unquote, rock and roll, or should I say hip hop, or mm-hmm. whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's still good music out there. You just gotta search and find it. Um, I think that nowadays, the younger generation isn't necessarily touching on topics mm-hmm. as much in a form of communication. Mm-hmm. You know, because music back in the day was more of an expression of the things that you're going on in society, the things that are going on in your heart, you know, and people are now just trying to make albums to sell or make somebody to twerk with or what, whatever <laughs> right. it may be, you know. Right. But Aaron, did you ever learn how to twerk yet? Well, you were supposed to give me that lesson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Schizo, what's up with the afro? <laughs> you know, that's a good point, Schizo. Let's talk about the hair. Man, What's you it? know what? You got a song. I love my afro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's the, that's the first thing people see. And I'll tell you one thing. My actually, my afro stands for something. Um, back in the day, it was a fight for injustice. Um, and that's where actually I originated the afro from. Um, and what I mean by the fight for injustice, but it's still a fight. But it's a fight for the violence that's happening amongst the youth. You know, when you see my hair, you know, when I see somebody rocking an afro, it should better be all about peace, love, and hair grease. You know, because the whole thing is, is if you rocking an afro, if you're not representing that, hey, don't come, don't come around me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm thinking you about. If you're going to be rocking an afro and trying to start some violence, start some trouble and stuff like that, mm-hmm. hey, you can get to stepping, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for all of that, man. This is about trying to better society, trying to better us as people, trying to better our children, give them a better place to live. There you go. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm tired of all Thank of this you. nonsense. So, yes, when you see my hair, peace, love, and hair grease. There That's what go. it's all about. You know, Schizo, your, your boy Focus right there, he said back in the day he wore the curl, the drip. No, you didn't. <laughs> now, I'm just wondering, is, is he willing to take that challenge and bring that back? You think he'd ever do that for you? Man, hell no. I, I never seen a silver curl. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, <laughs> the silver back with a perm. <laughs> Would that be party in the back in the rear? <laughs> hey, but I better be banging. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up for you guys. Um, let's get so working. These guys, where can they contact you? Where can they hear the good, positive vibes? And, and, and everything that Schizo is about, where can, where can they find you? Well, there's a couple different places. Uh, one, you can always Google My Boy Schizo, S-K-I-T-Z-O. Just one word. Um, they can always go to AfroEnterprise.com, check out the latest that's got going on. Um, we can go to the Gorillas, G Street Unlimited. G Street Unlimited. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Um, you can hit us with an email at G Street Unlimited dot gmail or at gmail.com um any information you want about schizo booking you know you want to find out where to pick up the cd hit us up schizo. if you want to learn how to do the seahawks dance i can show you where to do that at. they got an up. instructional video yep. i'm just saying yeah 
just, just, just hit me up. You know what? Just chop it up. Send me a question. You know what I'm saying? I'll be gladly answer a question for you. You know? We have a lot of new projects in the works right now. Several videos on their way to you. So lock it in your, your browser history when you search that My, my Boy Schizo. And uh, keep checking back. There'll be some, some hot new things for you to check out real soon. And if you judge me off of one song, you don't know me. <laughs> for real. Because it's versatile. You know what I'm saying? Touch all topics. Many of them. My boy Schizo, thank you so much. Your local for being neighborhood here. hustler. Yeah. Woo. Hey. Focus. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for smelling so good today. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Thank you, Stevie D. Stevie <laughs> D right here. Stevie D in the all house. Right. Thank you. <laughs> there you go.